and welcome to National Gaming VR. You guys asked, and I'm about to deliver. This is Township Tale from Ulta. This is both an Oculus and a Steam VR game. It has its own independent launcher where you will pick either Oculus or Steam VR. So both are supported. Uh, I do believe pretty much all headsets are supported that can connect through either one of those, those systems. It is available now, and it is free. What? Yes, free. It is an alpha game. It is a early access alpha uh, help build the game sort of state right now. So if you are opposed or offended or don't like uh, alpha, beta, early access style games in general, you probably want to stay away from this. If you're okay with testing a game and you're okay with seeing bugs and being a part of the development process, I'm, I'm more than willing to do that. Uh, go ahead and jump in. Get in the Discord server. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a link to their Discord in the description down below. If not, I will definitely have a link to the Township Tale website where you can go check it out and get that information and find out how to download the game itself. So, a Township Tale, also known as ATT, which is the, the acronym that they're going by. What is it? It is a, according to Ulta, a VR sandbox MRPG. Multiplayer RPG. There is no uh, MMO. It's just MO. One one M in there. Uh, so they're not necessarily calling themselves an MMO RPG. Just a multiplayer online role-playing game. Now, in this MMO RPG, you are not necessarily the all-powerful hero. It seems you could even end up being a lowly janitor. There is a profession system in the game where you are basically, uh, you, when you join the game, you join a township, a community of other players that are all working together to make this township grow and prosper and get stronger and unlock new areas. And your server is basically this township, as I understand it. Uh, and the way that the players work together towards doing the, these these various different things are by picking up a profession and advancing along uh, paths in this profession. I don't exactly know how it works right now, so so this is just my assumption that you grow along this path and you can do more things. Uh, but the available uh, professions that are in, at least listed in the wiki, I don't know how many of these are actually in the game yet or not, uh, but there is the miner, the blacksmith, the woodcutter, the carpenter, the warrior, the ranger, pretty basic run-of-the-mill professions for any sort of MMO. But then you also have the cook, the farmer, and like I said, the janitor. The janitor is an actual profession that is listed on the wiki. Again, I don't know if that's actually in the game or not. It is an early access game, an alpha game. Keep that in mind when I go through and do this review. But I have heard this game described as Orbis on steroids. If you watch any of my Orbis streams, then uh, the, the most recent one, I had several people come in and ask about Township Tale. That's, that's why I'm here doing this, is because if people are taking notice in other communities, then I think Township Tale is probably ready. I've been lurking in the Discord for a while, keeping an eye on this one very loosely. The developers haven't really felt like it's ready yet because, again, it is an alpha uh, title. So please keep that in mind. Uh, I don't know how buggy it's going to be. This is the first time that I'm going to be going into the game. This is my first first look, first thoughts, first everything, first experience with Township Tale. Haven't scoured the wiki, haven't looked at any uh, getting started guides. This is just pure first impressions. Uh, and whatever happens, happens. So with that, let's get in the game and check this out. All right, so here we are in a Township Tale. This is where you start off. This appears to be... Uh, your your little entry level menu here getting a little bit of stutter uh, I did have to drop my super sampling on this quite a bit we're probably in the negative super sampling uh, my regular just general super sampling setting is 180 right now uh, and township tail is down to 50% of that so uh, there are some performance issues with the game at the moment um, so it looks like we have teleportation locomotion here uh, and then on the right hand is trackpad locomotion that is dependent on where I'm looking. And we've got this nice little vignette over here. So we need to change some of this stuff. Uh, hopefully we have uh, settings, uh, a tutorial tail. I like a tutorial tail. Uh, hopefully we have some settings that we can open up somewhere, somehow, some way. 
Not seeing a way to do that at the moment, uh, but we're going to want to jump in there. So communications by Vivox, we are version 0 0.0.31.0. .0. So that tells you how, uh, how beta we are. Good day, Master Shadow. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so I don't know what this is. I don't know what this does. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess to jump into the tutorial tale. Oh, I can't break it. I wanted to break it so bad. Hey, this actually works. Well, from this, this eye. I can actually see in the distance with that. Um, I don't know if you guys were seeing out of the right eye or not. So... Lots of lots of physicality in the world is is a word that they use. Uh, so having movement on the the right uh, trackpad is a little odd, uh, and I really need to change that vignette. At this point, right now, uh, I really really uh, want settings. I want to be able to change my settings right here, right now. Uh, so this is a tutorial tale. Oh, and this is how you change your servers. That's nice. Is it going to cycle through again? <laughs> okay, let me go back the other way. And here's the tutorial tail. All right, so we're going to select tutorial tail. I like that effect. That's a really cool effect. So we're going to grab this. I assume we're just going to stick this in our face because that's what you do with floaty dimensional balls. You just stick your face in them. Everybody knows that. Okay, so here is our tutorial. Uh, so, oh God, we need to change this. Uh, welcome, craft flint and stick together. Uh, pay for a backpack, craft a torch using dry grass, mine five boulders, chop five tree logs, join the cool cats in town. Complete these quests to gain access to the main game servers in the main menu. You can always change movement settings in the main menu, but teleporting is required to jump up to things right now. I'm okay with that, I just want to be able to change things. Oh, hey look, we have a full body with IK that's... It's okay. It's not. It's not the best, but it's it's doable. Uh, calibration would be nice, being able because my my shoulders feel a little bit low and a little bit off. Um, I don't know. They feel like my shoulder should be right here. It doesn't feel like it's in the right place. Uh, so calibrating things. Um, the more the more data points you can get, the better. Um, for Creed. I like what they did where you had to um, arms out in the chest and then in the waist. I thought that was a good, simple calibration. I would kind of want shoulders as well, but that's just me. Um, out, shoulders, waist, I think would be ideal. Um, pressing menu button will open up a quick access menu. Hover over the option and release the button. Oh, there we go. Uh, so pressing the menu button over here pulls up this little guy. Oh, and we have a day-night cycle too. We uh, took so long doing this that it's nighttime now. Uh, so we can exit, uh, I'm assuming exit server maybe. Uh, is this our, oh, uh, apparently I'm female, I guess. Um, hey, can we, can we do anything with you? No, okay. Well, I guess that's what we look like. Um, Oh, what is this? Are you gonna... Huh! Nice. Nice. This is the thumbnail right here. This is the thumbnail. We're going with this for the... Oh. All right. So she kind of does whatever you do in a weird manner. Um, I don't know why that is names. Um, I guess that's maybe displaying the names. I don't know. Uh, and then I guess that's comms on and off maybe. Yeah, it looks like comms off, comms on. Uh, and then take that away. Okay. Uh, so that was that. This is the exact same thing on this side. So nice, quick, and easy way to turn comms on and off. I like it. It's not the menu that I want. I want to be able to change the settings. I want to be able to change the settings right now, which doesn't seem like it's going to be a thing that we will be able to do. So let's see. We have... A lot of stuff to take a look at. So we have these over here. Uh, you can also split the bags. Oh, let me start from the left because I know how to read left to right. 
top to bottom. Uh, hold down grab over a dock with multiple items to retrieve all of them at once. You can also split the bags into two in your hands by holding grab on one. This lets you balance them in your hands by using left, right on the trackpads. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I don't have a thing that I can grab. Let's go in here really quick since this is the first building that we see. Um, have you eaten yet? Be careful though, some foods will hurt you if you don't cook it properly. Uh, so you do actually have hunger and thirst in this. It's a very uh, survival based game as far as I'm aware. Uh, you can always return to the main menu to change your locomotions and comfort set. Okay, so is that this? Oh, hey, it gives us a ball that we can throw in our face. We're going to go back. How do I change them here? How do I change? So is it this? Oh, okay, I'm dumb. All right, I got it. Uh, this was not very um, explanatory here. Uh, not very intuitive, but um, maybe that's just me. I'm dumb. Uh, so locomotion hand. I love... I love this setting interaction, though. I love the setting. Invert, walk and run, button press. Um, okay, yeah. Use smooth locomotion, sure. What else do we got? Um, or not use, okay, so let's toggle that. Uh, press mode, head, or controller. Uh, this is probably uh, orientation. No, um, so I don't know what press mode means. Um, oh, oh, press mode versus touch mode. Okay, so you can separate. Oh, right, okay. Uh, so whether you're just touching the, the trackpad or pressing down on the trackpad, you can set them to different. I like this. I like this a lot. Nice, nice options here. Uh, smooth run, toggle hold. What is, what is this? I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, sure. Smooth run, toggle hold. We'll do smooth run, hold, whatever. Uh, where are comfort settings though? Um, yeah. If I turn this off, ah, okay. If I turn it off, we just can't locomote at all. All right. So what I need is comfort settings. What is this setting? Press mode, forward direction when running in smooth locomotion. Locked will keep your forward direction when active. Press mode, forward direction when running in smooth locomotion. Locked will keep your forward direction when active. I don't want, I don't want that. I don't want that at all, but we'll see. Ah, comfort mode speed, smooth rotation speed, comfort mode speed, immediate, delayed. We'll leave it immediate. I assume that's your acceleration. Uh, rotation speed, no. This one, comfort mode speed, the speed at which the comfort vignette appears in your vision. Um, no, never. Delayed, immediate, delayed. No, we don't. Comfort mode, strength off, off, disabled. There we go. Beautiful. I hate, I hate the vignette. I absolutely, I, I, I love that it helps some people. Me personally, I, I just despise the thing. I don't want it. I want it off as soon as possible. Uh, so if I'd been smarter, I could have had it off sooner. Uh, well, maybe not smarter, but more observant. Uh, I saw these things over here. I didn't go play with them. I went over to that corner. That corner was shinier. Uh, smooth rotation mode. I don't really care. I'm not going to be doing that. I have wireless and I have a Vive and I have room scale and I can spin all I want. It's great. Uh, swipe sensitivity level. Yeah, sure. We'll go with um, how sensitive the swipe motion is. I'm okay with whatever they have. Uh, and then hands. What are, what are the hand settings? Uh, free finger gestures. Uh, hopefully that is an indication that we have uh, index support in here for when I get my index controllers. That'd be great. Uh, bend a body when moving. So I don't see my body here, but apparently we have a body in there uh, and it will bend when we move. Uh, toggle name display. Yeah, sure, let's have names display. Uh, haptics toggle hold. Uh, enables haptics when toggle holding an item over a dock. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, all of this sounds good, and we have good settings here. I didn't explore outside of here. I like that your menu is just like a little area with a hat that I can not stick on my head, apparently. Can I... What can I do with this? There's a hat and a bat. 
Or this is more like a stick. Okay, I've got a hat and a beating stick. What do I do with a hat? How do I stick this in an inventory? Nope, it's still in my hand. It's stuck to my hand now. All right, well, this is interesting. We should probably get back to the tutorial, though. Nobody wants to see me walk around the main menu. Unless it's beating this guy. Oh, that's got some physics to it. That's nice. That's really nice. I can almost feel the bat like wanting to come out of my hand. I like the physics. Mm. Mm. Stab you with my stick. All right, so I don't know where this is going to go. I'm going to set these down right here. Oh, nope. Whoops. Damn it. I want the hat. It won't fall on my head. I don't have a head right now, so I don't know how that's going to work. Let's go back to the tutorial. Uh, where are we going? Okay, this way. So uh, teleport is now on the right hand, and trackpad locomotion is on the left hand the way I want it. Uh, I'm going to start picking up rocks, and um, let's see. I just lost tracking for a second. Okay, we're back. Uh, had a little bit of a, a tracking loss issue there, so uh, hopefully cut that out. So uh, we do have to reach down and pick things up. So if you are, um, if you have back issues, might not be the game for you. But they're all about the physical world and how things work in reality, and and getting you really, you know, moving around and such. Uh, so, and one of the things that has uh, struck me as interesting in the game is that all of the objects in the world, uh, if I were to, uh, let's see, is that another person? Hey, there's another person here. Okay, let's mute myself so they don't uh, end up... Uh, hearing me talk to myself, or talk to you guys. Um, okay, let's 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 do what they just did. Um, so we have a stick here, and we can we can two hand the stick. That's cool. Um, with with various different grip points, wherever I stick my hand, all along the stick. That's re that's really cool. Um, so I'm gonna take. Here we go. Okay. I stick it on this end. Oh, haha! -ha! Flint and stick. I have a stabby thing. Um, let's, I guess, stick this over here. Maybe. Okay, there we go. We have a weapon. Now let's take this stick and make a rock. Ah, we have we have a beating stick and a poking stick. All right. So there's my poking stick and there's my beating stick. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the beating stick, to be honest. Okay, I can't beat the tree for wood. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, just checking, just making sure. It, it could be like arc. I could maybe punch the trees for wood. Uh, I can make a fist. No punching the trees for wood, okay. Uh, but we do have rocks over here. I could probably, I love how, how natural that feels. Okay, this might just be a weapon and not a harvest tool. All right, so. What other things were we supposed to craft together? And I had physical contact with her. Like, I didn't just walk through her. I bumped into her head and had to walk around. I don't know if you noticed that. I did. Uh, pay for a backpack, craft a torch using dry grass, 
mine five boulders, chop five tree logs. Okay, so we, we crafted a flint and stick. We learned how to craft things. Um, so far, I'm liking what I see. Now I just need to figure out how to get... No, I don't want that. So that's an issue. These are these might be a little too far forward. Uh, I can't grab just grass. Uh, so I need to figure that out. You can always return. So we did that. Uh, what is in here? This is... Is this my inventory? Uh, pay for a backpack here. There is one in town as well until crafting bags gets added. Okay. So backpack, no crafting bags. Um, is this just... Let me sell you some stuff. Oh, okay, so this is, uh, I guess, my inventory? I wonder if this is my inventory or the town's inventory. I don't know that. Oh, okay, maybe this is the cost of what I need to provide. So two of those. Let me throw two of those in there, and let me go get two sticks really quick. I think I can manage that. I don't know where that stick went. All right, but I've got two sticks. All right, here's my two sticks. Take my two sticks. Shut up and take my sticks. Yay! All right, we've got a backpack. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. Now, where do I stick this? I don't know where the, does this... I don't know where this goes. Where do I put the backpack? Does it go on my back? It does go on my back, okay. How do I get it back? Okay, I like that. That works. Uh, I'm a, I'm a loot horn, so that's not enough inventory space for me. Not even a little bit. Uh, sometimes things go places, sometimes they don't. Okay, so I'm guessing they just mean that this is a dead end. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to try. Yep, you can jump off the edge of the world. Time to die, I assume. I fell in water that wasn't there. That's okay. We just came back up here and we seem we seem perfectly fine. No, we're not even wet. All right, uh, so we we paid for a backpack. Um, oh, here's the stuff here. Uh, craft a torch using dry glass. Mine five boulders. Chop five trees. Uh, so we're gonna go in this section next. Is that where we wanna? Um, I mean, it kind of looks like it's sending us this way. So I guess we can go this way first and then go that way. I don't think it really matters. Uh, caution, dark caves ahead. Don't forget to bring a torch with you. Uh, so is this dry grass? This is dry grass, okay. So there's the dry grass. Just picking it up as we need it. Uh, that should be all we need. We just need a stick now, right? Do we have to go back to the other side for a stick? Looks like we might, because there's no trees here. So this is... Uh, this is pretty good so far. If the rest of the game lives up to, to this, I keep grabbing the wrong side of this. All right. That's a huge amount. Yeah, that's what she said, I guess. It's like 1% off. That's like a crazy deal. All right, so we've got a torch here. 1% off? She's very happy about 1% off. She's a deal on her. All right. Um, so we have... Where's my beater stick? Here's my beater stick. Can I... I need to figure out how to mine things. Okay. So this is where I come to mine things. I've got the torch, so I should have gone to the other side first, I guess. Let's go... Let's go back to the other side. Oh, now there are sticks. Great. Thanks for that. Um, and I don't have... Can I put this back in my bag? I don't know. Okay, here we go. So... <laughs> Let's see, can we stick this? And it's on fire. Okay, no, it's not. I was going to say it's on fire in there. Uh, wood is a valuable resource. It can be used as fuel for the smelter to make campfires and to chisel wooden tools. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I have not uh, done what I need to make the axe. So. Well, now, okay, so we took a quick break uh, from the person who was talking in the background just so we get a, a little bit of a better video. So hopefully no one minds that. Looks like they're still here, but uh, still being quiet. So 
There's an axe here. There's a rusty axe lying on the ground. I don't know if that is what we're supposed to be using or not. Hey, there's apples. Can I grab the? I can grab the apples. Can I eat the apples? Oh, I can eat the apples. I have very pretty nails, apparently. Um, so I don't know if those do anything, but I'm gonna eat some more apples. These are tasty. I haven't eaten anything since I got into this game. I'm starving. Okay, they're using the rusted axe, and I see other. Do I see other rusted axes? Um, you know what? It's dark. Uh, I'm scared of the dark, so I'm gonna pull my torch out. But my torch isn't lit. Uh, let's go back and let's see if we can find more. So there's an axe there, but I don't know if that's somebody else's axe. Um, so one of the things I I don't remember if I mentioned this already. Um, one of the things that they were saying about this game, and it doesn't look like I can light it off that, is that uh, items in the world, if you drop an item, it's going to stay there until somebody else picks that item up. Which I think is really cool. Did we? Okay, we caught it on fire. Cool. We have a light source now. Alright, so... Well, there was an axe there. It was supposed to... Okay, so there's an axe, there's an axe, there's an axe. There's axes all over the ground here, and I don't know if that's because they're there for us to pick up or what. Um, but I guess I will just do this. You can make campfires using dried grass on the floor and wood pieces. All right, so we don't need this anymore. Uh, go back on a bubble. Nope, not what I wanted. I want you to go in. Uh, maybe it can't go in the bubble. Maybe it needs to be in one of the side things. Uh, so let's just stick it back in here for now. All right. Um, so let's find one of those axes in the ground. Apparently we just grab an axe, I guess. Aha! And go to town on a tree, I guess. Looks like there are some bigger axes and some smaller axes. Wow. Yeah, okay. Hand axe and um, big boy axe. I'm a friggin' barbarian. Let me ask you how to do this tree stuff. It would be nice if I could, like, embed it. Oh, uh, well, kind of, almost. I was almost able to embed it. All right. Oh. I should move. Let's see. If I get a... There's a little bit more control. Oh, yeah. I think that worked better. I need to go get some grass to make a campfire. I think it was working better like this. There we go. Okay, so I don't know what these... I don't know what these do. What do these do for me? I can't... Can I even do anything with these? So I chopped the tree. What was the goal? Let's go get some dried grass. Let's, let's make that a goal. Um... So I'm going to put that there, pull this out. I'm going to take the beady stick and stick it over there, and then this guy and stick it over there, because I don't think I need weapons while I'm here. One of the things that I did want to try, let me take this guy, and I think I can stick, can I stick this in here? No, I can't. Can I stick it along my back? I feel like, no, I could not. Okay, so I just have to walk around with this. All right, um, one of the things that I was going to try really quick is taking a stick and some flint and it looked like there were two different places I could attach it to. All right, and here, this might actually be an ax. Uh, maybe not. Is this a primitive ax? Can I cut a tree down like this? Here's a little baby tree. Can I cut a little baby tree? I can cut a little baby tree, okay. So that's how you make your first ax. I wonder if that's also how I make the pick. Okay, but that doesn't seem very effective when I've got this big boy right here and I can just swing it like this. Okay. And it seems to be a little bit smaller than the other one. Just a, just a little bit, and I don't know what that means. Like how it gives you sort of guidelines. Now, what am... 
what do I do with these things now? I don't understand what I do with these things. I've got like, I don't know. I've got a whole bunch of sticks here that I can't really do anything with. Where's my objective thing? What am I supposed to be doing? Um, crafty torch using dry grass, da da da. Uh, chop five tree logs. I did chop five tree logs, I think. I think I've done that. I chopped a whole bunch of tree logs. All right, uh, let's take this baby tree right here. Um, I was gonna go get one of these. Oh, hey, look at that. Is that hurting me? No, it's refilling my hunger. Okay, your hunger is on your wrist. I didn't notice that earlier when I was eating the apple. Huh. So, make sure that you're uh, keeping an eye on that. It would be nice if it was visible all the time and not just when you were hungry. Or if there was a way to see it. There probably is and I just don't know what it is. Okay. So we've got that. I'm going to go make a campfire. I want to figure out how to make a campfire so that we can see during nighttime. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Wasn't me. It was the other guy. All right. So let's grab some dry grass. All right. That should be enough. Uh, do I need sticks? I don't know if I need sticks. Let's make sticks. Hi! That's not what I wanted to grab. Alright, so we've got a couple of sticks, we've got some dried grass, that should be enough to start a campfire, right? I don't know what I need! I don't know what I'm doing! Alright, uh, so there is PvP in this game, too. There's a PvP server and a regular server. I don't know what the tutorial place is, but um, right around here seems good. Let's drop down on the ground. Um, let's take this and some logs and how do I how do I set this on fire now? Can I rub the sticks together? They don't seem to do anything. What if... Do I need one of these? I don't even know where the logs went now. What am I doing? Alright, where's my big axe? Let me go ask some of the trees how this is done. Um, let's take this little guy right here. Okay. one-handing this monster of an axe right here. And it seems like it's not doing as much. Yeah, I feel like two-handing this thing gives it much more power, which I like that. Oh, stop walking into my axe. All right, um, can I... Hello. Grab one of these with both hands. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, I don't know how many sticks this is supposed to take. Does it say up above? This is a stick. That's not what I wanted to grab. This is what I wanted to grab. My wireless has been acting up lately. I think I might need to call HTC and have some words with them about why my wireless is doing what it's doing. You make campfires using dried grass on the floor and wood pieces. On the floor and wood pieces? So do I have to use it over there? On where these things are? Like, how is this... I mean, this is a wood piece. This is a wood piece. This is a wood piece. How does fire... How to fire? Um, 
I think I was able to light it from over here. Let's go back to this one. Let me set this down. Put my torch. Okay. I want to keep the big axe. I'm holding on to this big axe. And take this with me wherever I go. Alright, so now that I have something to light the things with, can I... Aha, there we go. And they just, they burn out? What is this, they turn to ash? What kind of real world bullshit is... Oh, hey! Oh, no, it went out, okay. Can I then grab the ash? No. Well, fuck, I don't know how to make fire. I'm, I'm a failure as a fire person. Um, so we're just gonna go do the swing thing. Oh, I can't cut down food trees, apparently. It would be nice if there was a little bit of instruction on exactly how you are supposed to do some of these things. Uh, it did sound like it was on the roadmap, that it's something that they're thinking about, hopefully. This tree is going to friggin' take forever. I like that the bigger trees are taking longer than the little trees. I like that there's a differentiator there. Jeez. Well, you're going to be working up a sweat in this game if you really want to do the whole woodcutting thing. Oh, shit. Timber. Rip. Okay. Let me adjust my grip on here just a little bit. No, I didn't want this one to go wherever the hell it came from. All right. All right. Nice wide stance. All right. Can we finish the tutorial now? That's one. We've, we've chopped a whole lot of wood. So that thing, I would hope, is now accomplished. But just to be sure, we're going to do five off this one tree. So this should be three. Okay. I'm going to move a little bit, adjust, to get, back, get me back in the center of my room. Getting used to this whole day-night cycle thing and, and vision at night. Though the uh, big white explosion is not helping my night vision. The days do seem a little too quick, to be perfectly honest. Okay. And those are done. Let's just, good measure, cut all of this up. So if you want to work on your uh, katana swinging, here's the, uh, the game for you. I feel like I'm uh, training for kendo in an anime. Come on, how is it? Kendo master. All right, we need an apple after that. Ah, that was delicious. Okay, let's go see. I'm 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 a little out of breath. All right, we still have not chopped five tree logs. What does that mean? I don't understand. Wood is a valuable resource. It can be used as fuel for the smelter to make campfires and to chisel wood, wooden tools. So why can't I grab it from anywhere or do anything with it? No, not what I want. Uh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Like, this is not very intuitive at all right now. That's, that's that. Am I supposed to take it and... Okay, it's just gonna roll around. Whack, 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 whack. That's not doing anything, anything at all. Can I bundle it up on my arm? That almost seemed to work. 
All right, so I don't know how to do this, and I'm never going to get past the tutorial because I can't figure this out. All right. And this is why I went in completely blind to highlight issues with, like that. I like doing that. Um, let's go... Let's go see about mining. Maybe there's something in mining that will teach us the error of my ways. So I'm going to find another uh, stick and another rock. And I'm going to attach this the other crafting way, which is this way. And now I don't know if this is a mining tool or not. Let's go figure that out. It's so, oh shit, it's so dark. Um, wow, it gets really dark if you don't have a torch. What happened to my torch? My torch, I think, is in my side pocket here. Okay, so we have this. Give me my beater stick. <sighs> Alright, I don't know how to make a, a beater stick, apparently. Okay, so it's not this. This apparently is not the beater stick. Maybe we find um, pickaxes like we did on the other side. So apparently these mines are supposed to be different per server as well. So you won't necessarily know where all the stuff is right off the bat. Where in the hell am I supposed to find these things? All right. Having trouble, I hear one can make better tools in town. All right. Is fall damage a thing? Okay. Is fall damage a thing? We crunch. Uh, yes, apparently fall damage is a thing. And you drop all your shit. So I guess uh, that's how death works. And so now we're back here. So we can make better tools in town. What does that, what does that mean? Let's go, let's go grab our stuff. So here's our backpack with all of our stuff in it. Um, let's take some flint and throw it in there. We're probably going to need some of this stuff. Tools to make sure that we... Uh, apparently I just got kicked out. Um, that's cool. We can get kicked out. That's fine. I didn't want to... I didn't want to finish the tutorial anyways, so there. Alright, so we're back. I don't know what we're doing. Still. Do I have my stuff? I don't have any of my stuff either. Did my tutorial progress get reset? God, this whole video is just going to be me failing at a tutorial. Okay, no it did not. I still need to find, my, find five boulders and chop five trees. And I still have no idea how to do that. So this, I am assuming, is town. Um, pay for a backpack here. So, have you eaten yet? No, I haven't. Did I die of hunger? Maybe? I don't know. Let's stick these things in my bags. Here's flint. Here's... Come on, stop it. <clears throat> Where did flint go? Flint is over here. And then stone is right here. Okay. So now we have enough to pay for the backpack again. We can get a backpack. Okay. Backpack! Bunch me up a backpack. It, oh, I was going to say, it didn't give me a backpack. All right, so now I have a backpack. And I still need to know... How in the ever-living hell I am supposed to do this boulder mining, tree chopping thing? Oh, hey, I found my other backpack. Well, that's cool. At least my stuff is here. Um, so, back in town, can we do anything here? No, it's just get more backpack. Um... Do I have anything in this backpack? I don't, so I'm just going to say here somebody else can have that backpack. 
Uh, and I'm gonna take this backpack back. Um. So what do? What do people? What do? Um, I was going to try the axe on the rocks over there. So let's try the axe on the rocks. Okay. So we got this. It worked over there. Let's see if it works over here. Maybe this works as a makeshift pick. Who knows? I don't. That's why we're in this mess, because I don't know. Um... I don't have my torch, so leave that out there and go make a let's go make a torch really quick. Uh, hey, there's a stick, and here's grass, and we put them together, and magic happens. And hey, here we go. I don't like how that grabs things. Ah, damn it. It's being very weird. All right. Ah, it works. It works. We've found the way. It's this one simple thing. I don't know what I'm mining. Okay, there we go. Um, we found ore. Is the ore in the pocket? I wonder if I have to use this. Oh, and rock. What is this? It wants... Okay, that's weird. Bug. All right, I've got ore, so I need to mine five ore. So I need to mine a little bit more. Oh, shit. I like that I can do that, though. Fuck this rock, too. I'm just going to mine everything because fuck everything. I don't know if I should be hitting it in any specific spot or not. I'm just hitting it. All right. So that should be the five ore mined. I'm just going to pick all this up. I get flint from that, too. All right. Got a lot of metal. Got some rocks. Got some flint. We're good to go. I like looting, so we're looting. All right. So that, hopefully, should be that objective completed, right? If we go over here and look, we've done the thing. Why haven't we done the thing? Mine five, I mined five boulders. Mine, mine five boulders? Give me the axe. There we go. I, I assumed that those were boulders. Is there another thing that might be considered a boulder? It's boulder dash? Maybe it's just broken. That's always a thing. It is alpha. This is an alpha game. All right. Um, mine five boulders, not mine five or mine five boulders. I'm dumb. Okay, I've got it. So that should be three. That should be four. should be five. Hey, there we go. Mine five boulders. I'm not as dumb as I think I am. Yes, I am. I'm probably more dumb than that. All right. Um, I'm going to grab the ore. I can always come back for the other stuff if I need it. It's all over the ground. Even though I say that, I'm still picking it up. Um, what is this? What are the bugs? What are these, what are these little itty bitty bug guys? Uh, is this combat? Is this my first kill? Was that my first kill? That was my first kill. My first kill in a township tale, I killed a glowy bug thing. And it was great and glorious. And I feel strong. Die, 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 die. Evil bugs. You'll, you'll grow up to be starship troopers one day. Die. Ah, I've killed the bugs. The bugs have been killed. All right, so I think maybe I need to use this craptastic axe to go farm those trees and get credit. Maybe that is the problem. Well, my tracking just goes all over the place. It's horrible. All right, so 
I probably don't need probably don't need this guy um, here. Um, I'm gonna go to town really quick and see if anything has changed now that I have ore. Take this and stick it back in. Nope. Damn it. Come here, sir. Go back in there. I love how simple that bag is. It's very natural. It's very normal feeling. Um, so yeah, this is still just that. Uh, I have not eaten, and I wish I could tell what my hunger level was in some way. Oh, it's right there on my right. Right. Okay. Oh, I have to actually look at my wrist. Okay. There we go. I got it. Nom 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 nom. Okay. Let's let's do this. Okay. With the tiny little itty bitty axe. I, I, I put the torch away and of course it goes night and I can't see anything that I'm doing. At least I know I'm making progress because I'm seeing the flashy lights. At least I think I'm making progress. Can't really tell. It's so friggin' dark. All right. Well, I'd have to light it, so I can see that I am cutting it. I don't know if you guys can see that I'm cutting it, but I can I can see the line there. I wonder if I have to go around it and cut from all sides to make it fall down. I do believe that more powerful swings rather than lighter taps help. Hey, there we go. Okay, we cut a thing. I don't know where this cut is though. By the time, see, I feel like if by the time I go back and light this torch, yeah, see, by the time I go light the torch, it's gonna be daylight. I should have just stayed there hacking at the thing. The day-night cycles need to be uh, a little bit longer, in my opinion. And, okay, I was going to say my tree's gone, but it's right here. All right. Hello. You could stay, stay tracking here, please. Like I said, this the wireless module has been a little wonky as of late. Enough that I feel like... Uh, when the when the Rift S gets here uh, in a few days, um, I'll probably use that to do some Oculus stuff that I've been wanting to do, uh, and talk to uh, talk to Vive about this guy. Can't wait for the Index to get here. Can't wait for a wireless solution for the Index. Uh, but that is getting off topic. It broke! It broke! That's rude as fuck. Okay. Let's go make a new one. So, uh, item degradation is a thing, apparently. Confirmed. Items do break. And this goes right here. But they're easily replaced. Um, I should probably give me some fire. There we go. There you go. I love that I can rearrange it just like, you know, naturally. All right. Uh, Does it say cut five trees or cut five logs? Did I do the same derp thing here? Where I just didn't cut enough trees? Because I thought it said five logs. And do I need to ch fully chop up the trees or what? It's not super clear. I feel like this is a lot of work for a tutorial and you don't even really learn how to use the trees after you cut them up. Let me go look at the thing really quick. It's this right there. Oh, it's hot here. 
getting a workout here. Chop five tree logs. Yeah, it just says the tree logs. I may need to go do some exploring, some question asking, some information gathering, and come back. This may not be something that I just figure out because I've chopped five tree logs already. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with them. Now on the wiki, what it said well, in the overview was that objects stay in the world. And maybe it's just because it's Tutorial Island, uh, whether it be an hour or a week, the objects are supposed to stay in the world. And these are not staying in the world. They're going all over the place. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to do at this point. Um, oops, a little too far. I don't really know how to complete this objective. I can barely even see. Damn it. By the time I go light this, it's going to be damn near daylight again. Maybe there's something else I'm supposed to be chopping. Maybe I'm not chopping the right thing. Let's see, what's over this way? Okay, that was just on fire. What happened? And now it's friggin' daylight again. <laughs> Err. Um, branches can be cut into sticks. How can they be cut into sticks? How can branches be cut into sticks? And why is this hidden? That should be like there. That should be that one. How can branches be cut into sticks? Branches can be cut into sticks. Can these be cut? I mean, I can't really grab them, can I? No, I can't grab them. I mean, it's showing the impact, so I feel like I'm doing something. But, I mean, I would imagine that I would have already had results by now. Oh, there we go. Is that, is that what they want me to do? Five of those? Well, I guess let's find out. That's that's a little bit on the tedious side, to be perfectly honest. Um, so I'm going to drop that really quick. And we're going to make another one of these guys. All right. And we're going to go... We're going to go a little crazy here. All right. I am way, way back in the corner of my room. I'm going to move towards the center. All right. Here we go. Ready for this? I feel like I'm playing a drumming game. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, I get it now. So that should be what, one? Is that two? All right. Uh, so I'm going to set my dual wielding axes down. And I'm going to see, I can actually grab these things and stick them in here. And, oh, my tracking's going weird because I'm being weird on the floor and shit. All right. All right, so learning has happened. Through trial and error, no. Through trial, what the hell just happened to you? Come back over here. All right, I'm standing up again. So obviously I can't sit down while I'm doing this. Um, no, I wanted... Okay, the thing just went away. That's cool. Just take all my hard work and... What the fuck just happened to my axe? God, turn around for one friggin' second. The axe just decides that it doesn't want to be here anymore. All right. So we do have this... This axe. And there's that axe. And there's that axe. And... I'm looking for dual-wielding... Dual-wielding tiny axes at the moment. God damn it. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna take my left hand with there, and there we go. Okay, next tree, next victim. 
Uh, this one's already done a little bit, so let's get good and ready. Longer and slower. You want to see that big white thing it looks like. All right. There we go. We're figuring this out. Come on. Okay. Now, let's tackle this guy right here. So, let's get into domination position. Oh, that didn't take very long at all. These are really good axes, apparently. Ha! Finally, we have done it. Join the cool kids in town. Uh, I don't know that any of this is going to come with me. I imagine it's probably not. Um, so, let's go ahead. Wow, that was, that was intense. All right, uh, I don't know why I'm walking back here, but hey, we did the, we can join the cool kids in town. Wow, okay. Um, you can see even the tutorial area, new players are coming in here pretty, pretty frequently. So that's pretty cool. Game is populated. Oh. Wow, okay, that was rough. Um, that was a tutorial, all right. Uh, so we've got a PvP tail, which has, um, obviously, PvP. Then uh, there is the, uh, which apparently doesn't have any people in it, uh, and has gone since gone away. Uh, a pre-alpha tail, uh, there are 13 people in there. Uh, a PvP tail has no people. Uh, another, uh, so an EU pre-alpha tail and an Australian pre alpha tail. And then we can go back in the tutorial tail if we want. So, wow guys, I am out of breath. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out really quick and see if we can get some persistent something going. Whew, chopping trees is hard work. Did you know that? Were you aware? It is. Okay, uh, hey, we get a character creator. Uh, what is this button? Random, hey. Boop, boop, boop. All right, uh, so, oh, hey, look at this. This is pretty cool. All right, uh, hairstyles. What hairstyle do we want? We just put that on him like that. Um, let's, let's go ahead and just like rip that off. That's going away, that's, that's going away. This nose is friggin' horrible. Can we change the nose? All right, so we've got a blank slate here. Um, wow, that's gonna be, that's horrible. That's a no. Uh, I'm not gonna do any mustaches, but uh, this is this is pretty nice. They've got a lot of nice options here. Uh, a lot, a lot to uh, express yourself. Uh, yeah, so we're not gonna we're not gonna have anything. I don't usually do facial hair. Uh, so down here, got uh, plenty of plenty of beard options for all you beard enthusiasts. Uh, if you want to be the uh, the evil goatee master, um, soul patch looking thing. There you go. There's some dwarven looking beard here. All right. So no beards. Beards for the loss. All right. Eyeballs. Um, change the color of your eye to anything your heart desires. Yeah, we'll go with that. Eyeballs. What are these? Um, skin type. Okay. Um, yeah. Why not? Okay. A little bit, a little bit more pinkish, I guess. I don't know. Just, just customizing it for the sake of customizing it. Um, do we have boobs, or do we not have boobs? Uh, and then eyelashes. And that's a one or the other sort of deal. All right, clothing. What do we got here? Um, 
can we change the color of the clothing? It doesn't look like the color of the clothing changes. Um, so this, I think, is what I'm wearing right now. We've got a blue outfit. Got uh, just a t-shirt and some red Jedi robe looking thing. I'm, to be all honest, I'm probably going to go with the brown one that I shirted off with. Some very uh, neutral clothing here. The purple model is not bad. I might go with that. That seems more um, more warrior-ish. So we're going to go with that. Last one you pick. All right. Um, we got... We got a nose here. What kind of schnoz are we going to have? Um, the schnoz says, do they really need to be this color? Can it not just be flesh colored? Why does it have to be such a weird color? And all of them are such a weird shape. That's such a small nose. They're all horrible. All the noses are horrible. Everyone with these weird noses everywhere. I mean, I don't like any of these. I, I guess. We're never going to see our face, right? All the noses are bad. Uh, and then we have eyebrows. Yeah, we can't take the eyebrows, so it's a... Got to pick something. Got to pick something decision. Those big, bushy, friggin' eyebrows. All right, little eyebrows. Weird, weird eyebrows. Uh, angular, angry eyebrows. Those ones aren't bad. And then those guys. All right, so we're not going to go with yellow hair. Uh, we're going to go with this and what's it? These ones. I like these ones. There we go. All right, and then back to hair. And hopefully good this stays. So got uh, eraser head. Got I just woke up. No, this is I just woke up. Uh, maybe it's not that bad. I mean, as if I could rotate him. <gasps> there were multiple options. What was this? Where was this? Samurai. I'm a Hanzo main. All right. Let's uh, not stop touching things that I didn't tell you to touch. Uh, that's probably a no. That's probably a no. That's definitely a no. Uh, did I put that one on? I think I did. I think I put both of these on. I don't think I missed out on one of those. Uh, so let's go back. Do we... I'm losing track of what we did and what we didn't do. I think we did all that. That nice, nice samurai bun thing. Um, let's see. That's, that's a contender. Uh, that's probably a no. This is this is definitely a no. We got nice uh, nice long hair options. We got a lot of options here. Um, so I think I think that one's probably the best. Just nice shortcut cropped hair. Um, and that's that's character creation. It looks like um, I assume pull this lever and we're done. Okay, so um, that ended up going really really long and. Uh, this is the next day uh, when I have had a chance to gather my thoughts and, and reflect on the gameplay. And I ended up uh, doing about two and a half hours worth of, of gameplay, uh, mostly just because I couldn't pull myself away. Uh, now, before I get into this, let me remind you that it is pre-alpha. So everything you're seeing here is pre-alpha. Alta has opened the game up for free. For, for feedback, for testing, for all the pre-alpha goodness uh, so that you know players can help with the development process, all the, the typical reasons why you would do this. So please look at the footage that you just saw as pre-alpha footage. Make sure that you're keeping your expectations in line that this is a pre-alpha game. And hopefully once it transitions into beta or alpha and then beta and then eventually uh, probably early access or, or full release uh, that the performance and, and those issues will get better because there definitely were some performance issues. There was definitely some uh, server lag and you will see that more in part two um, because this first look is, is going to be split up into two parts. One is going to be basically me going through the tutorial. The second part is uh, basically 
how awesome the community is and how basically somebody just sort of took me under their wing and walked me around for an hour and and showed me the ropes of the game and i think both of those are valuable so the entry level tutorial uh showing the developers more so uh and the players the tutorial and and how that works but the developers what is working and what isn't working because not everything is working in the tutorial um the tutorial didn't really tutorial much uh, it didn't really show you how to do things. It just sort of gave you a checklist and you were left to try and figure it out. Uh, which, I don't know, maybe some images on the signs or I don't know why. So the, the most important sign for me was the wood sign. And I don't know why it was hidden behind a rock. I, that that makes zero sense to me whatsoever. The tutorial area needs a revamp. Like the goals that are there are great goals. Uh, but it needs to be restructured such that uh, I don't I don't necessarily want to say hand holding, but maybe in the first hour or so the game maybe should hold your hand just so that you start to think just until you start to think like the game wants you to think. Um, yeah, because I was definitely not uh, I you know I tried hitting the logs a few times and I just I got no feedback from it so I, I didn't register that when I saw the explosion of white that means I'm actually doing something um, that took a little time to figure out and and the tutorial just needs to really tutorial better than what it does now that's definitely a huge failing and as it's the first thing players see I could definitely see someone uh, coming in and not being able to figure out what they're supposed to do with the trees and going, this game's stupid, and logging out, and, and they would miss out on a lot. Um, so I definitely think that tutorial should really be a, a, a big focus. Um, server, server lag. It shows up as more of an issue in part two when I actually join the real Township Tale server and not the tutorial server. It was less of an issue in the tu tutorial server, but there were still times that I saw uh, a player's body just sort of freeze and then a few seconds later resume activity not like they were standing still but that there was a connection issue with that that player and they weren't transmitting uh their their actions to the server like they're at mid swing on an axe and then they just freeze and then a few seconds later they're over here you know doing something else and then swinging again um just the that server server lag uh it sort of creates a disconnect, but again, pre-alpha, pre-alpha. So I'm not judging it too harshly for that. I expect that to be a thing that is fixed before it moves into beta or before it moves into release. That server lag should really be addressed. But once you're in the official Township Tail server, um, you, you start to see it a lot more with people like stuttering as they're, they're sliding across the ground, like walking to and fro. Um, You'll see in part two, there's a, a blacksmith hitting the blacksmith hammer. And at times, this hammer is just like. Instead of just a smooth hammering motion, his arm is jumping all over the place. Uh, so definitely an issue there. Uh, and I think what is a contributing factor to that is what I mentioned when we were chopping trees is that uh, not necessarily in the tutorial server, but in the proper server, Items don't despawn. So when you have a chest and that chest is spawning items and people go, oh, this is a junk item. I'm going to take it out of the chest and they throw it on the ground. Eventually, next to that chest, there's a pile of 30 newbie buckler shields uh, and that all those items on the ground are probably uh, what's causing the server lag. Is that why we need a janitor class? Is that the profession or what that profession is designed to do is help clean up server lag? Who knows? I, it seems reasonable to me that the janitor comes in and, and sweeps up and, you know, gets rid of all those items, maybe breaks them down into their base components so that they can be used elsewhere. Um, that the, the blacksmith room, which you'll see in part two, and I keep referencing part two and I'm sorry, um, but it was, it was such a great experience overall. I can't like stop talking about it. Um, you'll see that there are molds all over the floor because nobody's putting them back where they're supposed to be. Um, but you know that being said, the community was still great and did offer a lot of help once I started talking to them in part two. Uh, end game goals. End game goals. Uh, there aren't really any at the moment that I can see, and I can easily see once you have 
gotten yourself stable where you're not in imminent danger of dying from hunger and you've acquired all of the gear that you want, all of the, you know, high end end game tier gear, there I, I'm not necessarily certain that there is anything to do after that. So you may end up finding yourself wandering around going, What do I do? Uh, so bosses are coming, but they're not in yet. So just making that, you know, a point that's out there, uh, end game content is the thing that is lacking at the moment. So just be aware of that. Again, this is pre-alpha, so all of the things aren't in. That being said, all of that out there, I had a blast. I'm, I'm blown away by how fun this game was, how good and, and helpful the community was. And it's that same sort of feeling that I get in Orbis when I see, you know, rune mages sitting in, sitting in a circle practicing their craft. When, uh, you know, I hear people just chit-chatting about how does the, the game work and this is, you know, how you uh, blacksmith and, you know, this is how you uh, carve a wooden handle. You have to do X, Y, Z and, you know, uh, just meeting a random individual uh, who is going to take you under his wing and walk around with you for an hour and teach you the game. That's not something you get in flat game MMOs. It's, it was amazing. The level of detail in this game with the eye tracking and the mouth movement, and again, you'll see more of that. I, I, I really pick it out in uh, part two, um, is, is just amazing. Like what the devs have done, the base that they have here to work with, the potential that this game has is astounding. This could very well be our next gen VR MMO that that takes the place of Orbis. I mean, when you take uh, a screenshot of Orbis on the right and a screenshot of Township Tale on the left, the as far as graphics go, Township Tale definitely takes the cake. I mean, I don't have any issues with Orbis's graphics, but I do know it's been a a hot topic for Orbis for a very long time. And Township Tale is just going to, I mean, I, I hate to say it because I love Orbis. Township Tale graphically is just gonna shit all over Orbis. Uh, for, uh, as far as I am concerned, or, or how, um, how I feel that the player base is going to respond differently. Uh, it's like taking, you know, um, EverQuest 1 and then looking at EverQuest 2 and going, well, yeah, EverQuest 2 is obviously better graphically. It, it feels like that to me. Orbis is very, you know, first gen VR MMO and Township Tale looks like it's aiming to be more second gen uh, VR MMO. And it looks great. It sounds great. It, it, it Despite all of the pre-alpha stuff, it feels great. And at this point, I'm just rambling. But I had so much fun. I'm definitely going to be back in here. I'm definitely going to be doing more videos on a township tale. And I hate that I waited so long to do this video. Uh, I did keep asking the devs and they're like, no, not, not, not quite yet. And I see why I do. I do see why there's the pre-alpha stuff, but remember it's pre-alpha when you're watching my footage and, and I will bring you guys more footage of a township tale. And I, I don't see why anyone shouldn't jump in and try this out. It's free. It's free. It's free. Get in the game, try it out, give it a few hours, run through the tutorial, go craft some stuff, go go make a few swords, uh, explore the world for a bit. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Go do it now. I will have the link to their Discord in the server, or it, link to the Discord server in the description below, and that's where you will uh, find the link to go download the game and how to register and play the game for free, for free. There are definitely alpha issues, keep that in mind, but go do it. That's going to do it for part one of my first look at A Township Tale. If you would like to continue watching the second part of A Township Tale, I'm probably going to call it something like a guided tour through A Township Tale because it's basically going to be uh, two other players one teaching me blacksmithing or just showing me as they are doing blacksmithing. And then another player who walks me through the world and explains a lot of things. And it was just great. I, I can't tell you enough just how great it was. But I'm going to stop rambling here. You should go check it out right now. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, please hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more of Township Tale. What would you like to see? Uh, what kind of videos would you like to see? 
and I will see you guys in the next one, probably when I stream some more of this. See you later.